G'day guys, it is Sunday again and unlike last week when I went to Aldi, this time I just got a Woolies delivery. It's 10 past 3 and the reason I got the afternoon delivery is because I wanted donuts for the lunchbox. The cinnamon donuts and that is what they've refunded so I don't even have that. But it cost $117. These are the meals I've got going for the week. So chicken pesto, lamb souvlaki, and thankfully they've got everything for lamb souvlaki. Um, beef pie, that's a dinner ladies meal in the freezer. Tacos, and then I've got a fritters, and that is also a dinner ladies. So let's get into it. Right at the back here, I've just got some noodles. I just like to have these in the pantry just in case. Then some milk, tortillas, 15 pack. I really enjoy this obviously for burritos and tacos but also just for wraps put it in the sandwich press souvlaki pink lady apples thankfully the greek style salad kit last time they didn't have that and they gave us two garden salads and we really missed the greek style salad kale slaw kit as i've said before i tried the oldie one and the woolies one is my favorite now i've tried l3 then we got these veggie straws these guys were on special that's why i have grabbed two lots of these pastas and gone for the vegetarian pastas that's what we like dave prefers that than the meat ones now i've got a stack of these smiling tums they are dollar each the pumpkin sweet corn and sweet potato and then at the back here i've got pear banana and blueberry with oats what i really wanted was the apple and pear with cinnamon because for breakfast Sorry, oh, I'm holding her as well. For breakfast, she likes to have Vitabrits and then I put the apple and pear with cinnamon on the top so it just kind of sweets it up and it's all nice, but they didn't have that for offer. So that's why I've got these pear, banana and blueberry with oats. Um, the kids asked for dates. It's been so long since we've had dates, so they asked for that. Got some teething rusks. She has just got her second tooth and I swear there is another one coming too. Dave has been wanting to make some jelly slice. So I got some more condensed milk and I've also got some Rawberry Aeroplane jelly. I just think jelly slice has to have red jelly. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, strawberries, they were an okay price. That's why I grabbed some of that. Broccoli doesn't look as fresh as Aldi's last week. Uh, sweet chili tuna, two of those. Then the lamb strips for the souvlaki. It's two for $15, that's why I grabbed those. These avocado slices, I've been eating them with eggs, but also I just give them to my nine month old food wise, bananas, and then some bread. And then finally, this was on special. So I've got this ice cream, strawberries and cream. It is absolutely delicious. When Dave went away for TAFE, there's a testing pack with four containers in it. And that's how I got through the first week of him being away. But I grabbed another one of those. And then guys, what I'm going to share with you is our garden that we've been working on. So maybe you can give me some tips. So a lot of people mention about getting a bit of a garden. And we have, guys, look at this. <laughs> so I was really keen to get some raspberries. So the actual garden bed is from... Bunnings, the soils from Bunnings, um, the plants are from Bunnings except for the silver beet, which I'll talk about. And I don't think these are from Bunnings either, they're from somewhere else. Um, so we've got raspberry cane, so one, two, three, we have another three. I am so hoping this works, guys, but my brother's a gardener and he says that we won't get that many the first year. But can you imagine that? Like, that is like, before you know it, we'll be <laughs> saving money if we can have our own raspberries so hopefully this works but you just never know and location and the sun so we'll just see and then over here I've got the silver beet it actually came from my dad's farm and then the rest of them came from bunnings so what do we got someone's and you can watch this and i thought it's great for silver beet because we can just come out here and grab it when i'm making dinner um i grew up with boiled <laughs> silver beet. We had a lot of that when I was growing up. Um, we've been having it here steamed. So I've got some parsley, got some chives, rosemary, we've already had that, that's been delicious. Um, some thyme, so that's in this garden bed here. And then I'll take you out the back, if you remember, it's the shed. And we had all these neighbors be gone over there, but we have actually pulled them all out. And now we have these fruit trees. Now these, 
is lime and lemon and interestingly enough the lime started to go yellow and apparently that is when they are so overripe they're at their fullest flavor but in the shops because of when they're picked they are often green so we took a heap off that were yellow we've also started a compost as well so learning all about that what can and can't go in there like I said my brother's a gardener so he set it up with the kids during the school holidays then we've got a lemon tree now these have traveled so well they have been with us for years now a couple of houses they've been in their pots so they're excited to be in the ground then next we have got uh, pink lady apples so we'll see how that goes then we've got granny smith I think those guys can work together I think that's the thought there um, I was keen for cherries so we got two types of cherry trees here's the other three of the raspberry canes in this bed down here so we can just see what works better then over here we've got another cherry type if you've got a cherry tree guys I'd love to know if you know what yours is then the protea which has been here I'm hoping it's meant to be in an area that has lots of um, drainage but I'm not sure if it does there but we haven't got our first flowers yet but it is growing and it hasn't died so it's a bit of a win and then over here this is a nectarine cross plum so that's what we've got then we've got our strawberry bed some flowers in here some rosemary uh, chocolate thyme uh, no chocolate mint maybe some thyme and then we've got four more Neighbours be gone, that will go, but it's just taking us ages because we're just putting them through the green bin. And then we'll probably get a couple more fruit trees. Guys, I'd love to know if you share in the comments, what have you got in your garden? Have you got a herb garden? Have you got some vegetables? Have you got fruit trees? I would love to know, guys.